And ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 29th of December, 2013. It's coming to an end, and that doesn't mean anything to a person like me because uh, it's just a made-up calendar. But <clears throat> we have to record these moments of our lives for future people so they know when this was done so they have it in the right context, okay? But anyways, what am I doing here? Okay, I have a few things to talk to you about today for the first video vlog. Don't know if I can do another one by the end of the day. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I'm feeling better every day, which is good. And um, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Because I got two things that I think that have been <coughs> not <clears throat> defined well in our world. People have been confused about these subjects. First one, let's define Let's give a definition for the word respect. Now, you can go many different ways with it, okay? I use the filter that I use to, to interact with life is the filter of social dynamics. And what does that mean? I made it my task in life to find out how people interact with each other. <clears throat> men to men, women to women, men to women, children to adults, adults to older adults. <coughs> Tell them no. And um, I'm going to give you a definition of respect that I think will help you tremendously when it comes to uh, social dynamics. And you can use it. Well, let's go over it. Okay, here we go. When you respect somebody, God, it's piercing. When you respect somebody, it means that you acknowledge their presence. Okay, okay, let me give you that again. When you respect somebody, it means you acknowledge their presence, okay? The opposite of that would be if you disrespect somebody, you don't acknowledge their presence. Now, of course, there's disrespect if you walk up to someone, you acknowledge her there, and then you slap him across the face. That's disrespectful, of course, but that's the obvious one. I don't have to teach you that one, all right? I don't have to teach you that one. You know that if someone spits in your face or slaps you, that's disrespect. You know that if someone says fuck you to your face, that's disrespect. But here is the invisible part of respect. When someone acknowledges the presence of another person, that's showing them respect. And when they refuse to acknowledge the presence of the other person. It's disrespect. Let's go over an example. You walk into a place and you're eating, let's say it's a restaurant or a party or a gathering, right? And someone you know shows up. Someone that you are or have a friendly relationship with. They show up and they look at you and they don't acknowledge that you're there. And you go, what the fuck it just happened? They don't say fuck you. They don't say, oh, that piece of shit. They just look at you, look away and walk away. The fact that they didn't acknowledge your presence is disrespectful and you're going to feel like you're being disrespected. On the other hand, if you're sitting in the you know, same scenario, you're at a party, a gathering, a restaurant, and someone you know walks up and they see you and they go out of their way to walk up to you and maybe they say, maybe you're eating with somebody. And they walk up and they say, I don't want to interrupt your, your conversation. I don't want to interrupt your food experience. I just wanted to come and say hello. Oh, hi. Nice. Great. You guys have a good time. And the person walks away, <clears throat> and you feel respected, don't you? When you walk into a, a business, and there's a man or a woman standing outside, and they open the door for you, if you acknowledge their presence, if you stop, look at them, and say thank you for doing that, they feel like you respected them. Now, the fact that they open the door for you and wait for you, they're, what are they doing? They're acknowledging your presence. Are you, are you getting it? I'm giving you a bunch of different examples because I know that no one has said this. And it's a very deep level of understanding of respect. Look at Totem in the background. Do you see him? Look at that face. <laughs> okay.
Okay, keep going, Rosh. So, one thing you can do for yourself, if you want to hit that invisible part of respect, and when I say invisible, it's the part that's missed by the human eye, okay? And it takes that third eye to see it, is you acknowledge the presence of somebody. And the opposite is true. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something that people that know me really well know, know this about me. Every once in a while, <clears throat> somebody ends up at my one of my academies that I I just don't like their attitude. Right, right from the beginning, right from the beginning, and <coughs> it could be a student of mine that I already like, but then they they say or do something disrespectful, or maybe they don't. Maybe it's a staff member doesn't do their job. As I teach and I walk around, I make a point, if I don't like somebody, to not acknowledge them. And I go, oh, no, look, let, let me explain something to you, okay? Let's go a little bit deeper into this respect. Now, you have to acknowledge, if you want to get a better understanding of this, you have to acknowledge people for who they are also. So if you're standing in front of a king or a president of a country... You have to acknowledge the presence of a king, the presence of a president of a country. You can't just acknowledge him the same way that you would acknowledge a janitor. And I know people, some people, you know, and, and if you're thinking this right now, you have a, you have a warped view of, under, a warped understanding. You, you've been miseducated. Some people go, well, there is no difference between a janitor and a king or a president. Uh, yeah, there is, actually. There's a, a, a big difference between them. Okay, one is responsible for keeping clean the area that the janitor keeps clean and the king or president is responsible for running a country which includes all the people in it okay and you're only as valuable as you serve others so there's a big difference so the next level of respect is you acknowledge people and you acknowledge them for their value of who they are and now you go into a deeper level deeper level of respect Okay, let's give you <coughs> some examples of that. Let's give you some examples of that. Two people don't deserve the same level of respect. That's Sphinx in the background looking at alcohol. Well, you're going to get drunk, Sphinx? What are you doing? Hmm? Two people don't deserve the same level of respect. Your mother or your father, if they've been a good mother and father for you, deserve a different level of respect than a stranger man or a woman of the same age. Why? Because your mother or father has given you a tremendous amount of value in your life, and a stranger hasn't yet. So, you have, <coughs> you have to... <coughs> you have to take into consideration who it is that you're acknowledging, the presence of. And the problem that we face today is that people are disrespectful all around. All around. I bet, whatever time you're watching this video, that so far today you have been disrespected at some point, but you didn't even recognize it. Why? Because it's rampant. What do I mean by that? Somewhere... Today, when you came across other people, they didn't recognize you. They didn't acknowledge your presence. They looked right past you. And you think that's not rude? I think that's very disrespectful. If I walk down the street, somebody's walking past me, I will say hello. That surprises them. There's a guy with two pit bulls walking like this. But I will say hello, and I, I, I calibrate with a smile if it's an older person or... You know, if it's like a young, tougher guy, just what's up. But, you know, whatever it is, I acknowledge there's a presence in front of me. I do my part, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to acknowledge another human being. There's the fact that there's a, another human being there. And I will start off by giving them the, the basic level of respect, which is, you're there and I'm here. Hello. From there, the game begins. How much respect? Okay, now, 
the big theme. Look at Sphinx in the background. What a good looking beast. You talking about me? You, what are you talking about me? You see, that's me tilting my head. I mean, okay, here I go. Right now, Electra watching this laughed. And Serena watching this laughed. I guarantee it. And they laughed again when I said that. <clears throat> okay, Sphinx, I was talking about you. Respect is proper acknowledgement. Now, to the degree that you can properly acknowledge the people around you, to that degree they will feel a good vibration towards you and they will feel that you are a respectful human being. <clears throat> if a young man of six years old or five years old or a young lady of five or six goes into the family party, walks up to grandpa or grandma or the older people and shakes their hand and says, hello grandma, hello grandpa, why do say hi to you first? That will just floor, floor the environment. It's in my culture, in Persian culture, and I'm sure a lot of Middle Eastern cultures, that when you're at a gathering and new people enter the room, you stand up for them. Wherever you are, you stand up for them and you shake their hand. It's also part of the culture that if you're walking in, well, I mean, I do it, and if an older person stands up to greet you, you say to them, no, please, have a seat. Like, you don't need to stand up on my behalf. Now, I like this shit. It's not phony to me. See, I can't stand phony respect. I can't stand phony anything. Oh, well, I like phony boobs. Fake boobs? <laughs> that's nice. But that's different. Fake nails, fake hair, fake boobs. Whatever. Okay. But the point is, <clears throat> there's a pleasant feeling when you are respected for who you are. One of the <coughs> one of the things that I get sometimes, I think I talked about it in a bonus piece one time. Sometimes people will hit me up and they'll be like, Well, I'm not one of those fans that thinks you're you know, you're like a god or something. And they expect me to answer them. I consider that disrespectful. Okay? When you feel respected, you will return the respect. When you feel disrespected, you feel angry. But here is a knowledge, here is an understanding of respect that has not been talked about, I'm sure. Well, if it has, I haven't heard it. Uh, but should be understood. I call it the invisible level of respect. The level of respect that can't be seen with the human eye. You acknowledge the presence of somebody there, and secondly, you acknowledge them for their true value. Now, if you want to flip this, <coughs> you could understand how to disrespect somebody. Don't acknowledge the presence of someone there, or don't acknowledge their actual worth. Pretend like they're worth less. You know when someone's worthless? You worthless, think about the word. You are worth less you are worth less than what you say you are you're worthless you understand you're worth less than what you say you are your worth is less than what you're pretending to be that man is worthless that woman is worthless they're worth less than what they say they are. okay so now you could use this and look around and sometimes You'll catch yourself, you'll be like, well, I don't like that person. Oh, well, one of the things that's happening is on an invisible level, they're disrespecting you. Now, obviously, if they're not watching this video, then they don't have a clue. However, it's instinctive. But if you want to be a master of social interactions, if you want to be able to walk through the world as a titan, as a god, as a goddess, as a, as a force of nature... You're going to have to learn respect at the invisible level. Because, you see, gravity also cannot be seen. But it keeps the planets and the people and the solar systems moving. You can't. Where the fuck is gravity? Somehow this little planet is floating around in this gravitational force of the sun. You can't see it. Right? Same thing with this level of respect. 
You may not be able to see it, but it's a powerful force. And if you apply it, you will be much more powerful than the people around you. And that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. Because if you're going to be powerful, <laughs> you might as well earn that power through respect. Then no one can argue with you. This is why I keep repeating what Manu said, which is, you don't have to apologize for your survival or anything survival. There you go, totem now jumps on the little couch over there. So, so you don't have to apologize if you're powerful because you're respectful and people like you because you understand how to show the proper respect and how to demand the proper respect. Now, that's, that's another subject. Don't get caught up in what I just said. As I said it, I realized that some people are going to get fucked on that one. You don't demand proper respect if you haven't earned it. Now, we'll talk about that another time. So just stick to what I said. Stick to what I said. Erase that in your head, okay? If you know how to show the proper respect, your level of power will increase dramatically. And I know anybody watching me is interested in power and freedom and beauty because those are the three things that I dedicated my life to. Okay? Secrets of Attraction. <coughs> Alrighty, I know you're looking for a bonus piece, but you ain't getting any. Why? I don't know. Don't feel like ranting. See you in the next blog. Peace.